All right, here we are, guys. Back for a golf class tutorial video here. This is going to be the new Eagle Peak course, hole six, par five. Uh, this is going to be my first look at these holes. Um, and the clubs that I have are a little bit limited. Here you can see that I have a extra mile six. I'm going to try to see if I can get it down to that other fairway. It's really tough to tell whether or not it's going to roll through. I do believe that I'll be able to get it down there. So we're going to try it. I think I'm, it's going to be ideal to get down there, but it's also probably going to be a little bit risk reward. So especially with an extra mile with not a lot of uh, accuracy, you're probably going to want to make sure that you're relatively perfect here um, with the way that you go about this shot to make sure that it actually uh, kicks down and actually gets down here towards the bottom. It looks like I'm just coming up short. So this is basically what I'm talking about. It can be a little bit risk reward there. And there you can see that it doesn't quite run out for me. Um, guys with a little bit more club, they're going to have a little bit easier chance. So we'll probably um, set up for a layup here and try to, you know, make an alternative method uh, of the pitch. But ideally, you know, you're going to want to try to get down there. You're going to see that I'm going to be out clubbed pretty much universally here. Uh, every opponent that I'm going to play, I'm going to be out clubbed against. So I'm just going to have to, you know, basically outplay them um, in order to, uh, you know, be able to uh, pull off some wins in these matches. So let's see what this looks like. I don't know if my opponent here is trying to get down there possibly. And you can see, you know, Thor 5, um, even with only one fairway bounce, just kind of easily has enough topspin to get down there. I could have used just a little bit more power, but I did want that second bounce to ideally be on the fairway. But let's just go ahead. Um, we're going to just basically, you know, put ourselves in position here. It's really not essential that we get it to the green here in order to get eagle. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of focus on uh, positioning here and make sure that I can get myself in a good, comfortable spot to be able to still make my eagle. <clears throat> so hopefully, um, ideally, uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be somewhere around min club on a thorn, which is going to you know make it very easy to make. It'll probably play very close to about four per ring, give or take. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much accuracy mine has. What, what do I have? Do I have Thor 4? So I think that's a little bit lower. I think that's maybe either 50 accuracy or 42, one or the other. I think maybe Thor uh, Thorn 5 is 50 accuracy or 52 or something. And the other one should be maybe 40. Let's see. I have a Thorn 5. I'm probably going to go update that club. But here you can see I'm right at min club here. And as I mentioned, you know, that should be the ring adjustment uh, that I'll need for this shot. Should be very close to 4 per ring. Or, um, yeah, very close to 4 per ring for Thor 5, I'm assuming. So right around 2, 2.5. Somewhere right in here. And you can see what that looks like, aim-wise. Perfect ball. <clears throat> and sure enough, you know, there I'm able to still make my eagle um, without too many complications. It just comes down to, you know, a pretty sound ring adjustment. So don't technically need, you know, the best clubs here, um, but I still probably could have gotten down to that fairway. You could see I was only one inch from getting there, and all it needs to do is roll into that fairway. Um, I am going to split these up, guys, so I can separate the shootout. Hopefully, they give me some of the new holes. Um, I'd like to take a look at some of the new holes and get them uploaded for you guys. So, good luck with that par five, and I'll see you guys on the next one.